I'm going to say a few things about the mechanisms of consciousness that were kind of provoked by Matthew Seagal's notion that the nature of our consciousness is, is one of the most mysterious things. Uh, in, in his video uh, response to chemical language, he refers to consciousness as beyond mysterious. And it's definitely uh, a very, very mysterious thing. You, you, if you deprive the brain of oxygen or if you, you, know, you deprive it of some of the, the, the chemical nutrients that it requires to produce consciousness, you know, we lose consciousness. And this mechanism is, um, is very mysterious. But I think that there, I have a pretty good model for it. And so I wanted to go ahead and throw that out there um, just, just to uh, offer that up. And it, I guess what, when, I think of, when I think of how the consciousness works on that level, on the chemical level, I use the notions of electromagnetic induction, which um, uh, Michael Faraday uh, is, is the one that's the person that's credited for discovering electromagnetic induction. And this is the, this is the uh, magnetic effect that any two electrical particles have on one another. And the, you, you wanna, when there's a moving electrical particle, it, it carries with it a magnetic field, and that ma magnetic field influences any other electrical particle in the area. And um, Heinrich Lentz, um, in, in later days, came up with a, uh, a more generalized understanding of, of this. And I'll, I'll post the Wikipedia um, entries for these things in, uh, in the comments. Um, but take a look at take a look at those two principles because what, what we see here is the beginning in, in, in my opinion what these things represent what electromagnetic induction uh, represents is the localized is the uh, the microcosmic um, um, effect or uh, co coincidence of uh, quantum entanglement. I think what, what you're seeing is with, with electromagnetic induction is the, uh, the localized influence, the, an emergent effect of what quantum entanglement uh, really is. And so you've got this, and then, and then you've got this whole thing that, that comes out of it, which is, which is frequency response. And this is where our radios come from is they use they use the concept of electromagnetic induction when you have a when you have a uh, a radio that is tuned to a particular frequency it picks up a radio radio waves from from uh, from anything that's transmitting on that same frequency with this which which is proximal and it can be a very great distance um, and I think that what, what the, the, the very same things happen uh, in our consciousness, there's, there's a, a type of, of part of consciousness that is a sort of reception. And so you've got, you've got all of the other minds out there, and you've got your own mind that has existed and has had these experiences in other times. And so you've got, you've got, this, you've got this connection, this a very real electromagnetic connection that is based on the processes, the processes uh, of of glucose being metabolized in the brain, and so you've got you've got the oxygen in there, you've got the you've got the glucose in there, and it and it metabolizes and it produces a particular sort of frequency. It produces a particular sort of energy that resonates, that that electromagnetically couples, inductively couples with itself and with the other uh, thought forms that exist throughout space-time and when when you when you take away the one of those one of those uh, components of that energy when you take away the oxygen you take away the glucose or you know it's just it goes into a different state a rest state where where the brain is producing different frequencies like the you know you've got I think in, in one of your uh, videos um, uh, Matt you you mentioned that Ken Wilbur can change his his uh, his his mental state, his EEG state, you know, at will, and you know that may be no more complicated than af affecting the way your body is metabolizing oxygen, and so you can, if you can learn to control your breathing, control your heart rate, 
um, that will affect that will affect the uh, the metabolism of of, of, of things in, in your in your body and so it's but it's that it's that electrical activity that is responsible for that I mean another another incredibly mysterious thing is you can take an electrical current um, when when alternating current was was originally discovered it was a lot of people thought it was very evil because it had the ability to remove the life from a, a living organism with with very little with very little effort, you know, almost instantly, without any real obvious method. And so you, you know, you can take, you, you can go up to an electrical socket and you can, you can electrocute yourself in a very short amount of time. You know, you, you, you can, you can take the consciousness out of somebody with an electric chair or whatever. And, you know, it, it's a very, very odd thing. And I think what's happening is that you have this you have this electromagnetic pattern that is connecting through to the other patterns through through space-time and electromagnetic induction is the the real scientific observable phenomenon that we can attach with that very same with that very same conscious phenomenon and so that, that from that perspective you can start to work with with the nature of spirit and the nature, you know, of consciousness through time, in other words, and um, you've got you've got the concept of what happens. You you can you can treat the concept of what happens when you die. I mean, if you if you just play around a little bit with what we already know, you can you can get to that point. You can say, oh well, you know, when I go to sleep, you know, blah blah blah. You know, I can cut my oxygen off or cut cut the blood off to my brain for a certain amount of time, and I pass out, but then I come back. Well, what's that case that you don't come back? What's happening then? And, you know, I think what the answer to that is, is you've got the, the oxygen and the glucose, the metabolism, is a part of a waveform. It's part of a, an, an electromagnetic um, waveform that exists um, both through and underneath of our physical structure. And when that waveform is disrupted, to the point where it can no longer perpetuate itself, you know, when it can't come back anymore, then that's the point. That's the point where the body dies. And, for example, when you're asleep, you that that form changes, and it can go out and connect to other forms, to other uh, other similar activity that's happening apart from where your physical body is residing, and that's the experience of a dream. And then you wake up from the dream. And you you remember this this other connection that you had to this other this other place this other this other contact, but it's not there, and so you're like oh dream, that's that was a dream, and so it but it's the same mechanism it's that same it's that same um, it's that same phenomenon, and the you you know the the other case is when. You, you don't wake up when the, when the body can no longer uh, be a receiver or transceiver for that frequency. When, when it breaks, when, it, when, when, the, when the body can no longer act as the transceiver for that frequency, either some, some type of, you know, incredible electricity burns it out or, you know, it, it no longer has the components to the power gets shut off, um, then it's... It, then it then that's that's when the body dies and what happens then is is what was that pattern has to seek a different host or a different a different radio to to propagate it and in the in in um in catholicism this is called the heavenly host and so the, there's this concept that the, that when the spirit leaves the body it actually goes into a different host and this this thing in, in in Catholicism is considered to be the heavens and this I mean if you if you play but if you play with this concept if you play with these ideas and you work with the the real uh, uh, analogies the real physical scientific things that we can observe about about the nature of the world uh, you might find that they fit very nicely with a lot of the a lot of the metaphysical concepts and a lot of the um, the, the, the spiritual concepts.